From 1941 to 1945, Virginians lost over 11,000 brave men and women in service of our country during World War II. By comparison, between 2020 and 2023, we lost 9,566 Virginians to drug overdoses with 75% of those deaths directly linked to fentanyl poisoning. Let that sink in. In just three years, we've come, we've come heartbreakingly close to losing as many Virginians as we did during all of World War II. These are not just numbers. These are sons, daughters, patients, and friends. And right now, these are gonna be empty chairs at the families of Virginians during this Thanksgiving holiday. Now there is a silver lining despite these challenges. This has been a number one priority for Governor Yunkin, the First Lady, the Lieutenant Governor in my office since the day that we took our oath of office in January of 2022. And the silver lining is this, after year after year of increase of fentanyl deaths and rising crime, we're finally seeing the silver lining of a drop of making significant strides in our fight against fentanyl and fentanyl poisoning. In the last 12 months alone, we've seen a 23% drop in fatal drug overdoses. That's nearly a quarter fewer lives lost. Those are Virginians that are able to breathe the air in this remarkable country and pursue their dreams because we've gotten fentanyl off the streets and away from them and their families. It is the first drop of fentanyl deaths that we have seen in Virginia in over a half a decade. In fact, Virginia's decrease in overall deaths is the third largest in the entire country. This is no small achievement, and it shows our collaborative approach is working, an all the above approach. It is the first lady with our only takes one initiative, coupled with our it, one pill can kill and our great federal partners. It's our Operation Ceasefire. We've done smart, targeted prosecution against violent criminals and fentanyl dealers in our 13 targeted cities. I know you can hear about Operation Free and the incredible work that they have done as well. Because all of us are too familiar with these heartbreaking stories of young people who experimented with drugs and unknowingly ingested a counterfeit pill. 75% of the counterfeit pills on our street today are laced with fentanyl. The story that I often share is one that a family in Northern Virginia shared with me with their son that was worried about final exams. I never experimented in his life and a classmate said, we well, should take Adderall, I'll help you study. He said, I don't have a prescription to Adderall. I said, don't worry, you can go on Snapchat. He went on Snapchat, ordered a counterfeit Adderall pill. His parents are downstairs on a Sunday night watching a movie in the living room. They get a knock on the door. He said, don't worry about it, mom and dad, it's just DoorDash. It was actually the dealer delivering the counterfeit pill and they found him overdosed upstairs in his bedroom.